Top 7 Most Dangerous Women of Crime Sure, criminal masterminds may invoke images of shadowy men, hidden behind cloaks in the darkness, but let's be serious. The stereotypical image of a criminal isn't the most representative. Throughout time, women have proven they can be exactly as criminally inclined as their male counterparts. And just like in nature, the matriarchal instinct can be used to a powerful adverse effect when incorporated into some devious behavior. From reform traffickers to the scariest syndicate leaders, let's take a look at seven of the most dangerous female criminals the world has ever seen. Number 7. Sandra Avila Beltran As a child born into a family with drug cartel ties on both sides, Sandra Avila Beltran, commonly dubbed the Queen of the Pacific by the media, was destined for a life of crime from the very beginning. Herself a Mexican drug cartel leader, her past is sordid and colorful, including two husbands, both former police commanders come drug traffickers, assassinated in the same manner by hired mercenaries. Her stealthy criminal activity went unnoticed by the DEA, only coming to their attention after she approached authorities for help to retrieve her son, who was kidnapped on a 5 million ransom. After spending eight years behind bars, she is once again free to enjoy her estimated $1 billion fortune. Number 6. Claudia Ochoa Felix Known as the Mexican Kim Kardashian due to both her appearance and social media presence, this 28-year-old fashionista look-alike certainly has more bite to her bark than you'd first realize. Reportedly taking over Los Antrax, a hit squad with the sole purpose of carrying out executions on behalf of the Sinaloa cartel, this mother of three first gained notoriety when the Mexican media falsely reported that she had been tortured and assassinated. Capitalizing on the reporting error, she quickly amassed hundreds of thousands of followers on social media, posting provocative and questionable photographs exemplifying her luxurious lifestyle, money, and weaponry. Although not charged as of yet, it's reported investigations into her mysteriously criminal life are pending. Number 5. Anna Gristina Although not a dangerous killer or violent individual, Anna Gristina, commonly referred to as the Millionaire Madame or the Soccer Mom Madame, may have more danger lurking below the surface than it appears. After being arrested in 2012 on prostitution charges, her case detail involved her running an escort, Call Girl Brothel on the Upper East Side. She claimed to have detailed client accounts on all of her customers, including famous individuals like Charlie Sheen and a string of professional football players. Using the leveraged information to her benefit, she is currently working on a dating website, her own book, and is attempting to pitch scripts about her life to get a motion picture made. Number 4. Anna Chapman This real-life Bond girl was arrested in 2010 as one of the 10 Russian sleeper agents sent to the United States as a mean to gain access to national intelligence. Using her gorgeous looks and sexuality, her prowess was the tool used to gain confidential intel and to influence targets. After being sent back to Russia as part of a prisoner swap deal with the USA, she became internationally known as a femme fatale, even reaching celebrity status in her homeland as the cover girl to Maxim Magazine Russia. Although she pled guilty to a conspiracy charge, it's unclear how successful her information gathering actually was. Now enjoying a lush and comfortable celebrity life back home, this 34-year-old vixen is proof you can't judge a book by its cover. Number 3. Lynette Frome also known as Squeaky by the media and followers, this terrifying woman first made headlines as one of Charles Manson's closest associates and confidants. Although she played no part in the notorious Tate LaBianca murders of 1969, she did pull a gun on then-President Gerald Ford in 1975. After the Secret Service successfully blocked her attack, she was sentenced to life in prison, managing to escape in 1987 with the intention of visiting the also incarcerated Manson. She was recaptured and remained behind bars until being granted parole in 2009. Although not much is known about her current affairs, her story is the subject of the musical Assassins and was even parodied multiple times on Saturday Night Live. Number 2. Thelma Wright Although now a reformed grandmother, this Philadelphia native is no one to mess with. Widow of Jackie Wright, a majorly prominent player in Philadelphia drug rings, her rise to power came after his murder in 1986. Becoming known as the Gangster Queen of Philly, her specialty was cocaine and heroin trafficking to and from Los Angeles, taking over the business to support herself and her young child, reportedly making over $400,000 a month in profit. Surprisingly never getting arrested, she left the drug world behind in 1991 
to make some positive changes. Her 2011 memoir, With Eyes from Both Sides, Living My Life In and Out of the Game, details her experiences in the world of crime, while we can't help but wonder how much fortune she's truly amassed. Number 1. Maria Licciardi This calm, cool, collected, and rarely seen crime boss takes her top spot, not just because of her impressively cold demeanor, but for the fact that she continues to front a major criminal organization behind bars. As the undisputed boss of the Camorra clan and former leader of the group, her Naples roots weave a tightly knit rope into the fibers of Italian crime. Referred to as La Madrina, or the Godmother, her short stature and ruthless leadership were key factors to the Camorra clan system for profiting from underage prostitution and human trafficking. Since her peaceful arrest in 2001, she continues to command the syndicate from her cell, proving that sometimes even the most dangerous criminals can be locked away but never silenced. Thank you for watching Interesting Top 7s. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button below and subscribe for new videos every week.